Hello guys, aka here, and welcome to Funcha Fan Reward Review. Uh, today we're gonna just review someone that plays Rice, so hope you enjoy it. In this laning phase is kinda hard, I would say, for Rice, but not early game, because Cassiopeia has to use a lot of mana for you to to get you out of lane, so... And basically what you wanna do most of the time is start W against Cassiopeia, because you can W auto-attack them, and like she takes 3 damage, like your Q is really impossible to hit. I know you probably took this for the invade, right? But it's just in case. Because usually this Cassiopeia starts Q as well, so... Like the trades are even. Okay. She she used a lot of mana here, so you're not really not in bad, in bad spot. Your opening is Java and jungle, so... Getting pushed is pretty good. Your jungler is Warwick, and he's already done one kill, so... <laughs> That's gonna be a tough landing phase. If your jungler is just not doing anything. But she has Ignite, so... And you have double CC, so it should be fine. I mean, right now your lane is a good spot. We're just farming for free right now. Like, your ideal lane would be for you to get tier and just base for free. But right now she doesn't have TP and she's using a lot of mana, so you you, you are really, really, really free in this lane. Because right now you could have followed the wave, yeah? And you would lose so much because your like, enemy jungler died and your jungler is alive. Okay, your jungler cannot gank, right? But she has no cleanse, so. There is a possibility in theory that she might die to a gank if she ever stands to try to push this wave and she's really um, so basically she cannot add, like insta push the wave. Else you're gonna poke her, etc. etc. And she has no TP, so it's really bad for her. Your laning phase right now is pretty good. I mean, you, I think at one time you could have fought the wave more and like made him lose more and not lose cannon. But I mean, you decided to poke him, but it's not like you could eventually kill him, so I feel like it's a trade you, you, you made. Um, I think it's fine, but. I mean, if I see my jungler kills enemy jungler 1v1 and like Cassiopeia cannot, like, he is, a, he is escaping, just play for your lane, just freeze it. If she moves, she's gonna lose way more than you and your jungler is safe. If he dies to, to the Cassiopeia, I mean, it's his fault, you know? Unless you can kill her, for sure. Like, if Warwick would be earlier, I think you could go for the play, but right now you, it's bad. I mean, this matchup right now is kinda spooky for you now. Just because Cassiopeia is, like, like has two kills and she has really good items. This matchup is kinda... yeah. I wouldn't say it's 50-50, because I think Ryze probably wins all the game. And as case I don't choose any mana. But you're scaling and you're fine. The only bad thing I think this game would be... You not freezing the wave when you could. Okay, there is a fight going on. This is fine. Cassiopeia has no ult for now, you, I don't think you know, but... Okay, this is really good. Okay, better to play on... Better to play on wins as per usual, guys. <laughs> Unar Clyde after the game. Joke. Okay, I mean, this is pretty good. You are in a really good position now. You can just scale. She's gonna lose an entire wave. But right now, your defense is going pretty good, honestly. It just... I feel like you could snowball more out of him when you throw... Like, if you would be willing to freeze more when enemy has no flash, this is a really good trade. Let's take care for the mana. Okay, this is a really good room. Right now, you can even look for a kill on Casper Pia, but you don't know where jungler is, so you should just probably play safe. Just uh, keep hugging both sides, you have good vision around here. Take the wave, you roam. Be safe. Okay, this is kinda spooky. Enemy jungler is... I mean, enemy tap is running first. Okay, guess you probably wasted W. Oh, you got hit by Q. Sheltered you? Yeah. Okay, what 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 you wanna do with Rise against Cassiopeia is always... You don't wanna always look at her when you fight her. Like, basically you just make... You, you, you hit a spell and then you just look back all the time. Because, like, if you dodge the ultimate of Cassiopeia, you're most likely gonna win the trade, right? Because you cannot eat another Q and just palm E on you. So, the most important thing in this matchup, because you have phase rush, is to dodge his ultimate. So, right now what you're doing is fine, you just EQ. Okay, you EWQ. Right now you should, you, you have to look backside. Like, she's, she's rooted, she has nothing to, she, she has nothing else to do. She's for sure gonna try to ult you. Yeah, she's looting you now. If you would face backward, you would probably maybe force his flash, I think, or even kill her. But no, you end up dying. Which is... And you use flash as well, so it's kinda bad. But yeah, I mean, against Cassiopeia, you always, 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 always wanna bait his ult first, and then you win really hard. So, this trade was really good. The only thing you need to do is just look backwards whenever she you, you fight her, because you know the ult is coming, right? I'm pretty sure when you fight her, you, you knew she would ult you, right? So you just need to turn back. Just do small movements, you know, you just look back and whenever you, you see her ult going and you, she misses it, you're gonna win for sure. So, sometimes it's good to play like alone on the map, but 
it's good to be with your, your team as well. Like you didn't item a blue, but Clyde could take it alone, and right now you would probably kill Nami. You would get a kill on Nami, and I'm not sure you would dead bottle it, but you would probably like chunk it a lot at least. I mean, you could just kill Nami and just base and play for Drake, slash bottle it after. I think you're staying on the map way too long right now. Yeah, he didn't take it. Enemy took the Drake, I assume. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, that's what I said. Like, it, sometimes it's good to be to, to play on your own if enemy makes mistake, like if your team is making mistake. But right now, I think the better play would be to go bot and to kill Nami. Uh, with your ultimate. Okay, I mean, I know as a mid laner how important blue buff is, but Kate could just deny it from Cassiopeia, you could just take yours. So, in the end, it's, it's still fine. And uh, yeah, in the end, you would have gotten probably one kill on Nami, you would probably chunk that butter it, you would reset together, and you would probably be in time for Drake, and you would play for Drake, slash butter it, and you would get so much more out of it. So, I mean, this is solo queue, so playing macro is kinda difficult in a way. I know, but this is just f to maximize you know, your decision, and if you do it without thinking about it, you're gonna improve for sure and you're gonna be a better player, so. This is pretty good to focus frontline right now, help your carriers. Like Ryze is really good at killing tanks, I mean first I get, so. Not tank, but first I get, rather, so. This is a good, this is a really good ult. Cassipa is dead, so you have no threats now. I mean, the game is probably over now. Okay. You're doing Nash? No <laughs> way, right? You can end. Yeah, you're ending the game now. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, honestly, I think you played fine. Um, but as I said, the the things that I can you can take away from this game is one: if the enemy mid doesn't have flash and the wave is pushing to you, just it's really important for you to freeze it and play with the wave. Like even if he, he doesn't know. Where your jungler is and he's not scared of it, at least he will lose minions because you will beat him one v one. Because his own is he has lower HP, etc. So it's really important to play with the waves, as I said. And if you want to outpush the wave, you need to ask help for your jungler or your like in this case Caitlyn for when she was mid lane. Because I mean you're home right and you're lo just losing time, so just ask for help next time. And for the silence, I think just keep your TP up. I mean unless you're fighting for sure, using your TP is fine, but. If you're just tipping to get back to lane faster and silent, it's just not good. Especially with Rise when no one can kill you right now on side. So and that's it for us today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little VOD review on Rise. Um, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> See you next time, guys.